Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a Let's Build series. I don't really have a name for it, but basically we're just building buildings. I used to have a creative series where I built these two uh, buildings, but they never took off. And I pulled recently, and people seemed interested in it. So without further ado, let's get into today's build. Before we get started, please remember to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with a stream on Saturday and random videos in between, like this one. So I know this is pretty far away from the main village, but this spot is really um, calling me. And I think I want to build a modern apartment tower, which is something we don't have. And I don't know how many stories I should make it, but let's get into building the foundations. All right, so now that I've got this all laid out, I'm going to start working on the main part of the build, i.e. the foundation, and kind of what I want to go uh, for. So again, I'm going to be using some white concrete. And for some reason, I want to have this one. Let's see. Let's see. One. Okay, wait. One, two, three, four five six so i'm gonna do my six tall uh thing and then the thing is is i need this to be a square so i'm gonna do some counting real quick and we'll make sure that everything looks good for this first floor because i i have a kind of vision of what i want to do all right so after a little bit more work i've decided that this is kind of the footprint that i want for this first floor now I'm just going to copy this over. These are, so in here, this is the only one that changes, uh, you know, length. So this is three uh, because these are diagonal, but all of the ones out here are five. So you're going to want one, two, three, four, five things of five by four rectangles. Yeah, five by four rectangles for the base of this building. Okay, so for the sake of everyone getting blinded or not getting blinded i went ahead and set the time to 1600 <laughs> yes so here's what i'm thinking i have this square base right and to build something that you know looked like that went like this all the way up would be yeah, i'd be for i'd be here forever but Let's see, if I come out here and I build maybe, I don't know, something like, I, I want something that's like a tower, um, if that makes sense. Let's see, if I start with five here, that, yeah, that's more, it's more than enough. Actually, let's see, so this is going to be the hardest part, um, deciding you know, how I want my apartment building to kind of look. But I know that on each side, I want at minimum three. <laughs> oh, wait, I just had an idea. Okay. So I have three here, three here, right? Actually, well, yeah, I guess. Well, yeah, I have three here, three here, right? What if I... Did uh let's see, what was that five? Yeah. And then one, two, and then boom. Hmm. How will that look? Uh uh. -huh. Let's see. I'm trying to see, like, actually, yeah, and then I can have five in here, and then, what, what is it, three, wait, hold on, <laughs> okay, so, one, two, three, one, two, right, nope, should be nine, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. What? 
right? Is that, is that okay? That's even first off. All right. Now let's make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. Uh. Is that? Oh yeah, because then I can have balconies on this side. <laughs> so, yes, perfect. This is what I want. One, two, three, four, four, five. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh yeah, one, two, one, two, two, three, three. Four, five, one, two, and then, oh, nope, there we go, ah, okay, okay, so, kind of looks like a dog bone, not gonna lie, <laughs> uh, but this one I'm going to do bigger, uh, in section, like, in bigger sections, so that we can, so that I can have, like, a variety of depth, so what I'm gonna do is, I guess build up this first floor and then I'll come back and then I'll do the majority of the grunt work uh, when I come back. Also, side note, I changed the uh, block lighting in here. Shut up. I changed the block lighting in here. So now there's a distinct like bluish gray glow, almost like an office uh, building with like fluorescent lights. Huh. Just something I thought I'd add in. Back to building. Oh, <laughs> Wait, what's it look like down here? Ooh, kind of warm, honestly. Okay, back to back to building. Well, I just realized that um, <laughs> I recorded a ton of footage without actually recording it. I never hit the power button. I must have hit the, or the record button. I must have hit the wrong button. But currently, we're working with a shape like this. Um, almost like a figure eight kind of dog bone. Yeah. Uh, my plan is to... Again, I want this to be like its own tower and then this will be its own tower. And then we'll go have this go up like maybe four or five floors. And then this one can go up to like, eh, let's see how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. This one can go up to hmm, maybe like 10, something like that. But right now I'm just filling in uh, the floors. This is the most tedious part of building any building but this is the most tedious part of any uh skyscraper building process as you can tell it's a lot of repetitive work um and obviously i'm not going to make you watch this whole thing i just wanted to get you know the first floor down and then show you how i can copy uh how you can copy this up and hopefully let's see yeah, hopefully the reflections will look really good on this. You can't really see them on this glass. Um, let's check over here. I don't know. Can you see it? You can see it really good on... Um, what is it? Well, I guess there's nothing to reflect, really. Except for the sky. But yeah, you can see... Can you see any reflections here? Eh, kinda. But you can see it really well on bedrock but we're not on bedrock so <laughs> i'm gonna finish this skeleton and then we'll I'll, I'll fill in the glass afterwards because glass is easy it's just up and down but i'll finish the skeleton first um at least of this this frame for the building now one of the other things i decided to do um is building at least laying out the floor plan for what I want the apartments to look like up until you know I get to the taller ones because those will be our quote unquote luxury one so going to go ahead and kind of flesh these out here I'm going to have you know kind of like a little lobby area use some smooth quartz um oh soon I can get some lighting in here <laughs> it's a little dark Wait. Oh, I did that wrong. Yep, did that wrong. Okay. Uh, let's see. So over here. Yeah, it's right here, isn't it? There we go. Oh. 
Oh, look, doesn't even mess up. Yeah. And so let's see. I'm trying to think of how this would look IRL. This can be, this could be a bedroom, you know, uh, but I'm trying to think of ways to, you know, like, cause I want balconies here, but I don't know how to build them at least like right now. See, so here is the entrance. Okay. Thinking like bedroom can be somewhere around here. Maybe I'll have to do open floor or like open, yeah, open floor plan, open concept. Uh, yeah. Let's see, because on this side, I have. Okay, yeah, we're going to do that. Which which is fine, which is fine. Um so that means here I gotta there we go. Hmm. You know, I'll just keep building and see what I think. See what I figure out, because it's a little tricky, but we'll figure something out. I usually end up figuring it out by the end of the build. So one of the things I noticed while building this is I accidentally lined up exactly where the uh, shape changes with the pillars. So now for an easy guide, if you're following along loosely, um, or if you just want to watch because you like watching people build, um, you'll see that every time there's a pillar, it changes um, shape. So pillar, well, except for like, you know, some areas, but for the most part, you can draw a line to where the pillar changes shape. So that's actually just been helping me making sure or helping me in making sure that, you know, I don't mess up like the shape going up um, and, you know, making sure that I don't have to make my building process long because I've been building for like 30, 20 minutes right now. <laughs> um, but it's looking good. We're almost to the point where we're going to cut this side off and then just continue up with this one side. Um, I think it'll it'll be a nice little, uh, how do you say? It'll, it'll, it'll look like a nice little tower, even though it's going to be much bigger than the BNN headquarters. And let's see, yeah. And then if you can look, here's kind of what the layout of the floor is, um, at least for these apartments, which is cool because Looking at it like this will help you visualize um, what you want to build. I also want to note that the goal of this series is mainly for entertainment. I don't want you to follow along in the builds block for block. Um, you can if you'd like. It might be a little hard just the way I've styled these videos, but you know these uh, these videos are more of you know seeing seeing someone's building process and also just kind of looking at, you know, the thought process behind, you know, how someone builds something, because a lot of times it's the process behind building stuff uh, that really makes your builds look good. And I know I'm not like a master class or whatever, like a master builder or <laughs> whatever, but, you know, from playing for over 10 years, you know, you pick up some tips and tricks and I have multiple worlds where we have like, large cities um that are scalable to the player which is the one thing i think that distinguishes myself from other build projects is these are scalable to the player like you could you could build these in survival it would take a really long time or you need like you know like uh concrete powder dupers duplicators um but you know, I, you could, but the thing is, is look, if I stand in here, it's like, like the BNN building, it's a normal size building and it's scalable to the player. Like, see this, this is a tall building, but it's like scaled. Like, it's not like, oh, wow, that's the entire first floor. All right. Now this is the confusing part because this is where we're going to make the change. So, oh boy, in this, right. I have to figure out what I want to do. Now, obviously, this shouldn't be an apartment uh, floor. 
you know, this shouldn't be an apartment level. It should be um, kind of like a, almost like a mezzanine. Let's see. The tricky thing is, is I think I should um, fill up the glass to this point so that I know what I'm doing. Because what I'm thinking about doing is changing the elevator from here to here. Because, like I said, I want this shape. See, I want this shape to continue. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, but that's going to be an interesting shape. Let's see. What if I... I want this shape to continue up. Ooh. Um... I have put myself into a bit of a pickle. Let's see. I'm going to fill up the glass all the way up to here, and then we'll see what we can do. Let's make it an even playing field, because I want to shift the elevator shaft so that it's not, like, poking out on this side. You know, I at least want it to have, like, a flush uh, area. So, yeah, let me, let, me, let me fill up the glass to this point and then I can see what I'm dealing with here Oop, there we go now one of the things I was looking at while I was doing this is since I'm considering a balcony here I think I'm going to do like a spine that comes out from the glass you know just kind of breaks things up let's see and then, yeah, I think the balcony should go at least out to here. So then the spine is going to go up here all the way to the top. And then, eh. yeah. Uh-huh. How does that look? That looks normal. Okay. So then we'll just do that. And then here, I guess I'll have, you know, um, things like this. And then, don't know. Yeah. I mean, it looks like a good enough balcony. Yeah. Uh, hmm. I don't know, but I kind of want thin. Oh, but well, I guess they're not going to be thin the way I did it. Uh, okay, maybe I'll just do a... Ooh, maybe I can use, like, stone slabs? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Boop. Okay, I only have to do those. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Uh... Maybe I'll just keep the spine here. Maybe. We'll, we'll see. Oh. One thing I will say for these larger builds that Bedrock has over Java is the block placement. You know, the, the block placement that we have in Java is all right, but, you know, you miss a few... Um, you know, it takes longer for tasks like placing glass like this. I know we have World Edit, but a lot of people don't know what they're doing with mods, including me. So we ultimately just end up going for this. But yeah, my favorite thing about Bedrock is that you can just like fly up and down placing all this glass instead here. You know, there's not really one true fastest way to place blocks that gives you like a clear advantage outside of world edit finally <laughs> that was that was a lot all right now i figured out what i need to do well kind of i know what i need to do now for my uh mezzanine level well 
I need to switch the elevator on this floor instead of the floor above it because it'll look weird if it has the elevator jutting out on the side like that. Uh, let's see. Now, the question, the thing is, I'm going to have to figure out a way to do this that is efficient, I guess. And this, huh? Unless I did this? Because this is always going to be like this. <laughs> Laughs an evil genius. All right, let's see. Hmm. So this one can be the up. Yeah. This one can be the up part of the elevator. And this one can be the down. <laughs> now, you're probably wondering why didn't you just do this? Oh, no. But now it's... Ah, but now it's uncentered. All right. Well, let's assume that, you know, we're going with the same layout. Right? Okay. Either way, these are going to have to stop here. There we go. Oh. 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 There we go. Now, how do I... Hmm. Let's see. So if I want an elevator like this, I, I guess I'm going to have to do this. <laughs> I know it's ugly, but you know what I can do? I can do this. Instead of shifting the support, or instead of having the support beam right there for this floor, I can shift the support like this. And that way, it still kind of makes sense, but I can also get what I need. And then here, I know I shouldn't be an architect. Well, I shouldn't be. It's a lot easier to. <laughs> uh, it's a lot easier to do stuff like this when, you know, the real. Well, no, it's harder to do stuff like this when the real world applies. There we go. I'll have to do this. And then this can be, yeah, this can, how about this can be like a little lobby area? And then here can be like a little apartment. Because, yeah. Oh, I mean, technically I could do an apartment, but no, this should, this should be a lobby area. So I'm going to replace this. Oh, nope, this should be like this. All right? Yeah. Yeah. Wait. There we go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Then I can replace this and just have like a like I said, a mezzanine level. Um something that isn't too bad. And then I should be able to continue this shape up on the top. Oh, uh oh. Up here I should be able to uh, let's see. Go like this. Have you here. And then. Uh, huh. Wait a minute. Oh, I should have it right here. Right. Ah, yep. That'll do it. Then put you here. Yeah. Uh, hmm. This is going to be interesting. I wish I could sync it back a little more, but eh. When you shift something like that, it's some, something's going to have to give, so. Ooh, that is not symmetrical. But I could force it to be symmetrical. So here, it would go like this. Right? Yep. 
and then one out so that'd be right here oh perfect and then i guess this would have to be white concrete and then one two three four five Wait a minute, that's not five. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, yeah. And then. Uh -huh. And then put you here. Then we'll keep going up from here. Now it's gonna look a little weird, but I think I think this should be good. I'm trying to like Yeah, well you know what? These can all just be single apartments. <laughs> you get an elevator right in your apartment, but you gotta have a passcode for security. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't look half bad. It's it's a little interesting, not gonna lie. And it's not symmetric. <laughs> uh but that means I can also add like the original thing that I wanted, which was the Teardrop shape like this, but I can also just have going up into here. And honestly, it just needs to, it can be solid. Yeah. Let's see. So I'm going to want this to go up. What? This one will go up the normal floor. So one, two, three. Four, five, six. So this one will go up six. And then six. A little taper, if you will. And then. Eh. Sorry, it takes a second to get up there. And then, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play around. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna have to stick with this. <laughs> Just because, I don't know, I, I, ooh, maybe at the top I can taper it in a little more. Um, kind of add to the side of things. Because I kind of want this to be asymmetric, but I also kind of want it to be symmetric. But if you're gonna use a like asymmetry, it's gotta you know make a little sense. I mean that one kind of makes sense because you know the spine goes down right here and it cuts off there. But I don't know. I can't really do much to you know hide the outskirt part. But I can put a pool up here. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, you know, let's just roll with it and see how it looks in the end. I might have to do some tweaking down here, but eh. Right, and then for this one, sorry if I sound like a gremlin. I just swallowed some water. For this one, I think I want to go one, two, three. Wait, what's that? One, two, three, four. There we go. Mm. Let's see, because I want it to look. Mm, I don't want it to look weird. Let's see. So, how many floors do I have here? One, two, three, four, five. So then, I guess I'll do one less. One, two, three. Wait, one, two, three, and then four. Right? Wait. One, two, three, four. Okay. Then boom. Then boom. 
And now is the fun part of building this up and out. Again, I think I've uh, addressed this, but um, I might have addressed it in back to beta days, but I I have tried to look into the replay mod so, you know, I can do time lapses and stuff, but I don't know. It's it, it, I'm having some trouble with Optifabric and getting, you know, shader compatibility in it. Um, so I'll keep that. I'll keep looking into that. But for now, you know, I can just use spectator mode and stuff like that for, you know, the builds. Also, uh, if I keep like if I say the same thing multiple times in videos like this, uh, let me know, <laughs> because I I like I've built this building over, you know, a few days now. And so some of my thoughts may overlap. They may repeat. Um, it should only be a thing that might happen when I'm building like skyscrapers or tall buildings like this. Um, but if I'm building like a little house, then that's fine. I shouldn't repeat myself, but buildings like this with my schedule take multiple, take, they take a few days to, to build like in real life. <laughs> you know, now that I look at it, it's not really that weird of a shape for a building, you know? I mean, yeah, it's a little, I guess, <laughs> I guess you don't get many views. I guess these are the better ones. <laughs> you get the views out here. You don't get very many views of this side. Oh, over here. Let's see. Well, yeah, you do. You, you get at least. Mm, I feel like you get, you get like close to 360 degree views. I mean, you just have a little bit of an obstruction, but I mean, to be honest, you're not really missing much right here. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm kind of liking the way it's turning out. You know, if you, uh, I also realized that, um, <laughs> I know I just started another thought, but I also realized that the foundation for that, I used a different block. I used polished andesite instead of stone bricks, but I'm sure I can fix that. I'll just fix that later when I'm not building. Um, yeah, I really only have the floors to work with. And then I can put a pool here, you know? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. I can just put a, like a little glass layer around here. I was thinking of like what I could do, you know, for my pool and rooftop thing. I thought I was going to put it down there, but yeah. Real quick thing, I was just pressing, oh, I was just pressing a bunch of buttons, but I decided to continue the daylight cycle. Wait, are the shadows moving? Yeah, they are. I decided to at re or reinstate the daylight cycle and the um weather cycle because I figure I can always change it if I need to showcase something, but you know. If I'm going to play like this let's build almost like a series with personality instead of tutorials, then I should probably, you know, just have a realistic approach. And then we can also see the buildings, how they look and everything in different lights um, and stuff like that. Real quick before the sun goes down, I've completely finished at least the bulk part of this outside. You know, it, it looks all right. It looks all right. I'm going to have to, you know, dress up the tops of these buildings a little bit, you know, just so they're not completely flat. I might do, um, you know, something like this where, you know, one side goes up and then let's see. I think it's there you go two up. Yeah. And then two up. Something like, something like that. I don't know. Just enough, just something to add like a shape to the top that isn't, you know, just flat. Because I don't want to, you don't, you don't want like a lot of flat in your skyline if you're building, you know, a city with skyscrapers. But I have also realized I've completely negle neglected this. And... I need to go and finish this down here <laughs> because 
it's completely open. There's not even a floor in it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that while the sun sets here. And then, yeah, we should be able to start working on, like, the details and the fun stuff. I'm sorry. I just can't get over how good this looks. Like, you can see B&N. You can see the new building right there. It looks really good off in the distance. And then, you know, you got all of, like, the blue coloration. And, like, even the garage has a view. <laughs> like... Oh, God, it's just crazy, you know, like what Minecraft or how far it's come. I noticed that yeah, I have a little change right here in the lighting, um, but that's okay. You know, honestly, I don't know if I like the blue lighting for houses. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like if I, well, no, let's see this. Ooh. I kind of like this. Oh, this makes it so much cozier. <laughs> I know I'm getting distracted, but... Let's see. I know I'm getting distracted, but I just want to see how this looks. You know, they're both good. I think for a house, this is a nice light level. Instead of kind of this blue glow. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's interesting. It's interesting. But in fact, I'm going to get back to building. Oh, look, you can see the reflection of the moon off of the building. This is going to be a cool God, Look at those reflections. Everything about this is just like immaculate. I mean, the shadows are nice. The coloring, the lighting from the floor. I'm going to have to, you know, put some lights in and stuff. But that'll come later. Right now, we can start working on this outside portion and kind of figuring out what we want the building to look like. Now, I want to see what my options with balconies are. Just because, you know, I mean, this is this is a good, you know, area to have balconies. Or this is, it's a good reason to have balconies. Um... You know, help things look nice. Now, one block... I don't know how I feel about that. It's it's too wide. Um, but then again, does half a block make sense? Uh, I guess so. I'm going to have to take this out a block more. So if I want, you know, like... To be able to actually walk on the balconies. <laughs> and then... I go here. Okay, now. Mm. <laughs> Having something like that would be nice. But does it mess? Does it mess anything up? Is the question. No, not necessarily. Uh. And then I guess I can, yeah, I can have a balcony here. And then just have this. Yeah. Huh. From a distance. Uh, I don't know. Because it feels weird having, you know, being able to look, like, down in between where my floor, like, if I'm going to, like, if I'm going to have something here, I shouldn't be able to see, you know, down here. That just looks a little weird. But then on the other hand, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, well, let's, let's get color blocks. I wish I had tinted panes. That'd be nice. Uh, let's, let's see how you look. Eh. <laughs> eh. Hmm. Like, I, I, I want balconies. I feel like they could add a lot. But... 
I don't know. <laughs> Looks kind of eh. Uh, what if I... What if I do that? No, now see, that looks weird. Uh... Oh, nope, I need that. Hmm. You know what? Let's try it like this. Because, I mean, from a distance... Ah, but... Eh, it would make sense. Like, having that on the outside would make sense in terms of, like, you know, supporting it. Um, you know what? Let's go with it. Let's run with it. I mean, worst case scenario, I have a feature of a building I don't like. Or the sun goes down. I I think, you know, that doesn't look too bad. You know, it's it's simple, which is what I need. I mean, you get a little balcony, which is realistic. And, I mean, it's it's consistent. I think the reason it looked weird at first was because it wasn't consistent throughout the build. But now that I have, you know, this, you know, with the exposed. Hold on. There we go. Oh, okay, you can't even see. But now that I have, like, this right here with the exposed white concrete, you know, there shouldn't be an issue. All right. So, I think for here, on the pool... Yeah, on the pool deck, I think I'm going to have, I can have, yeah, I can have double doors out here. I don't need a big pool, just like, I don't know, a little lap pool. Maybe one, let's see, one, two, three. Yeah, let's just do it. This amount, how many goes up to here? Okay. Yeah. Doesn't have to be a huge pool, but, you know, I also just realized that whoever lives in this apartment is going to have um, water leaking on them. That's okay. Now that I can have... Uh, oh, I can like make it a raised pool, maybe? Let's see. What should we use? Yeah, I can use prismarine. Oh, yeah. Prismarine slabs. Right? Prismarine blocks. Thank you. Let's see, let's use the pool. Eh, um. <laughs> yeah, I don't like the way that looks. Huh. Hmm. I mean, a pool would. Let's see what happens if I just put a bucket. Let's see what happens if I just, you know, where is the bucket? <laughs> ah, there we go. If I just put a pool up here, okay. Now I could always do an infinity pool. You know, that way only part of the apartment down here would have water dripping. Actually, does it drip? Mm-hmm. Something about this I don't like. There we go. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, let's check it out. Oh, that's the wrong way. I was on the right floor. Was I? No, I wasn't. Wait, yes, I was. Yeah, the pool's up here. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> the whole ceiling's dripping. <laughs> That's okay. Um, if I was spending a lot of time in here, I would be, you know, concerned with it. But because it's for the exterior, mostly, that's fine. Um, let's make some chairs. We'll give them... Where? Colorful blocks. Nope, building blocks. Ooh. You know, red. I like this dark red. And then we can just boop. Boop. I know it's a, it's a little weird, but the scaling, you know. There we go. Uh, Maybe, maybe get some greenery on the pool. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to sneeze. 
Um, how's that look? Nothing crazy, you know? Actually, wait, I could probably just. Oh, yeah. I know this is a little small and kind of cramped for space, but, you know, city living, man. <laughs> Also, I guess, I guess, yeah, it's, it's better than not having anything up here, you know? And then, of course, I had to bring up the, you know, the little, uh, what's it called? <laughs> it's a kiddie pool. Okay, it's for looks. <laughs> uh, where'd you go? Natural box. Ah, sapling. Wait. Yeah, let's use let's use a birch. Oh yeah, we're putting a tree up here. Uh huh. And then bone meal. Oh, <laughs> there we go. And see. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> let's go ahead and run down here. Oh, and then where's carpet? Could do like a little, a little towel situation, like some towels right here. Let's change color, cause who has the same carpet or who has the same towels? Yeah, and then let's do, let's give someone a yellow towel. Yeah, you know, little towels just hang out by the pool. <laughs> okay. I, hindsight 2020, yeah, I should have, you know, done a little, gotten a little more space and planned for the pool, but, you know, I kind of like it. It's realistic and it's scalable to the player. Now, yeah, you can't really swim. <laughs> can't really swim in it, but, you know, it's got, it's got nice clear glass, which I think in, it, realistically, this, this is how an architect or engineer would handle a rooftop thing like this. Um, and then let's, let's go ahead and light this apartment up real quick. Uh, huh. There we go. And then, okay. And then one, two, three, one, two, three. Perfect. Oh, <laughs> the apartment's flooded. <laughs> oh, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. Now I'm going to go ahead and, you know, later on. Actually, do I want? Ah, no, no, I want this. Oh, <laughs> I want this one to be, you know, no. <laughs> I just can't get over the dripping ceiling. <laughs> now this one, this one should look fine. What I can also do to make it, you know, look a little more realistic um, later down the line is. I can choose to not light some of the floors. You know, just for realism. <laughs> now it's time for the hard part. Uh, basically, I want to have this kind of look like, almost like a shard. Um, I want this to come up into a point. So if you're looking from this angle, you know, it kind of looks like a point, but... I'm going to have to figure out it kind of exact how to do that. Um, I've done it before. It's nothing crazy, but you, you got to make it look right within the scale. And I'd like, I'd like a little, like a little shape. And I guess I'll have to just do that. And then let's see. Yeah. Um, let's put as a as you know what to put in the top part. I don't know. I don't really need anything right now up here. So yep. And then I guess the majority of my 
change. But oh, but you could put like you could put something up here. Eh. Maybe I'll just put like a an assortment of. Oh. Huh. Uh oh. Oh. Right. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll put an assortment of. You know, like the lights and stuff. Cause now I gotta, I gotta get it taller. Uh, ooh. you know what? No, it'll be okay. Maybe. Ooh, what if I? I should round it off. Like round off the top. All right. There we go. I think mm, hindsight, I should have done a little bit bigger of a scale. Because it's an it's an awkward shape to have, you know, like it kind of looks like a silo, <laughs> but it's an awkward shape to have, um, you know, a top part rounded off like that. I might, I don't know, it kind of looks, it might just be fine just with the flat on top. Yeah, I might go back to doing that. At least we tried. At least we tried. You know, you'll never know if you don't try. <laughs> so, gonna go do that, and then I'm gonna light up the inside, and then we can start working on the apartment designs and just kind of the lobby design and stuff like that. Don't know why, but this is like <laughs> really back rooms vibes. I think it's just because of the lighting. I was building it and I was like, huh. <laughs> but I think, I mean, yeah, this is pretty good lighting. Yep, that's all I had to say, though. <laughs> all right. Now it's all lit up. And as you can see, I left some of them uh, without lights intentionally. Um, hopefully, you know, it can add to, you know, the realism of the building a little bit. I'm going to have to come up here and cap this off though <laughs> um well i don't know i'll leave it for now actually there's no i don't know yeah i can have some light up top <laughs> let's see yeah it's looking nice and then i think we should be able to start designing our apartments and we'll just copy and paste them by hand. <laughs> uh, we'll copy and paste them. Ooh. You know, as we go along. <laughs> All right, we'll copy and paste them and build them up. That's what I was trying to say. Dang it. Uh, it's noon. <laughs> All right. Well, let's start with down here. Um, I think I want to try something real quick. Now, this is something I've been using for a while. And hold on. I want flowers. Uh, where's the, there you are, a flowering azalea leaves. What the? Huh? Well, I'm right clicking. <laughs> Look at that. A little, add a little bush, a little color. Will it, oh, oh, never mind. I want to put it over here. Oh, <laughs> I found a duplication glitch. <laughs> Uh, not really, but let's see. Let's start with that. I don't know. I just wanted to add that, you know, get some color. Um, okay. Now, this is an interesting floor plan, mainly because, you know, can't do, can't do too much, but I think there will be that we'll have, we'll have some way to work with it. Um, hmm. Now, I think... Bed should be here, okay? Let's see. I'm thinking about having... Do I need, like, a, a wall right there? Uh, maybe. Because I want the living room here. I guess... Hmm. This is interesting. Okay. Okay. I don't want this hallway to be interrupted, but I can ho oh, get some st stone. No, I can get some. No, nope, that's the same color. Let's use birch wood. Okay, 
And then I can get some... Like, this can be my divider. And it doesn't have to be, like, crazy good. But, you know, I'd, I'd like it to look a little nice. There you go. Oh. Hmm. What if I did this? You know, you have a bed here. You can sleep. <laughs> um, you have a bed here, right? And I'm I'm this is Minecraft, so we're not gonna have like, you know, we don't need bathrooms or anything. I need a living room. Ugh. Hmm. Maybe if I mark this off. Okay. This way I can have maybe I can ooh. Uh hmm. <laughs> this is a hard one. Okay, what if I, well, I can do walls like this, right? Yeah, it's not, it's not against anything. Maybe, okay, kind of have a little divider. Well, okay, but then that means I can, okay, I'm going to restart. Okay, so this is what I've come up with. I think here can be like the living room space. Here I can have, you know, a kitchen of sorts. Oh, look, it starts to pick up the light over here. I can have a kitchen of sorts like this. A living room right here. Maybe something something small like... Uh, let's give this person pink couch. <laughs> yeah, there you are. Let's see. So... Could do that. Uh, this is this is a challenge, but this is also how I learn and get you know better. I guess I could do this, and then you know have uh, let's use let's use granite for this one or diorite. Sorry, and then you can have that. And then I can get a painting. Where are you? Do I want two by one? What's two by one? Ah! No, I want a... Any threes? Mm. Okay. <laughs> uh... You know what? We don't need a TV. Let's just... Put a painting. It's, it's one by two I'm looking for. Ah, look at that. Oh! <laughs> there we go. Huh. Yeah, you know, we can have that. Why does it keep getting blue on me? I don't know. We can have that. Um, kitchen, right? So we need a furnace. There you go. No, smokers. Sorry. I think I want... Hmm. Because... Okay. There we go. <laughs> now, uh... Have this. Have that. Anything like that? A little... <laughs> it's such a tiny little kitchen. Um, <laughs> I don't know what that laugh was. I, I guess you can have... Oh, this is like I'm building a New York apartment. Okay. Compact kitchen. Watch this. Ready? Boom. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Boom. Um, yeah. <laughs> Oh, barrel. Yes. Barrel! <laughs> Where'd you go? There you are. Okay. And then this can be our cabinets. Um, well, yeah. It can be the cabinet. And then... Oh! 
Where'd it go? And then I guess, like, right here, we can have that. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, but I don't like that. Hmm. Well, this is rather interesting. Uh. Okay. Let's see. Grab you, because I can do this. There we go. And then... Little hood. Nope. Ooh, and then... <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's ugly. Mm. No, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. Let's see. How, what am I working with? Ah, what if I did it right here? Would that do anything? Huh. Okay, maybe I just have to have a little one. No. Hmm. <laughs> well, this is tricky. I guess I can have bookshelves. Put you right here. And then scatter you out about. Oh, I need that light. <laughs> there we go. I don't know. Maybe I can keep it simple. Maybe. Oh, we can just do a survival kitchen. Yeah. So then, what's that? It's this next to this. And a little bit of that. Just to have some storage. I guess I can put a little whoop, right there. And oh yeah, I can put a little flower pot right there. Yeah. I mean that <laughs> that's pretty much all I can do. I guess I could make a little I can make a little hood. You know, just like boop. But I gotta go like Oh, that's kind of cute. And then boop. Okay, so it turned out it turned out good. You know, nothing too crazy. Um, some greenery in here, man. Let's go get this. Nope, not that. Let me get that. Can I put leaves in a flower pot? Nope. Um, what can I put in there? Can I put you in a flower pot? Nope. Uh, ooh. Sorry. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm sorry if I had just hit my mic. Um, I think this is like the best I was able to get. No. Won't put you there. Uh, which area won't I can put it like right here yeah you know nice little living space you got this you got your come in here maybe I'll give them now nah, I'll stick with the spruce doors there we go and then yeah I could they could they could use a little nightstand oh not that <laughs> Yeah, something like that. Nothing too crazy. Over here, maybe another little painting. Uh, I don't want a two by one. I want one by two. Is this the same guy? No. There we go. Oh, wait. Let's put you there. And then... For a lamp, or 
like a little bed. Oh, okay. <laughs> I forgot about that part. <laughs> oh, this looks nice. You come out here. Let's see how it looks from the outside. Yeah, nothing too crazy, but yeah. Now that I got that floor plan, I'm going to go ahead and copy it to all of these. Um, and then I can figure out what I'm going to do for the floor plan up here. Because it's a little bit of a different monster. But yeah, that looks nice. Well, good to know that the uh, lighting trick kind of worked. And you can see the two little spots that are uh, not lit <laughs> on purpose. I also went ahead, and even though these are not lit, I furnished it. You probably can't see anything. Hold on. Let me grab you. Okay, now now we'll be able to see. But yeah, I went ahead and furnished this one because, you know, why not? Um, Just pretty much copied the exact same thing that was over there. You know, nothing too crazy. But yeah, I'm going to keep chugging along. And I will see you once I get to those. So far, so good. I've gone ahead and finished all of these uh, apartments. So you can see they're all furnished. Um, now I need to figure out what I need to do for these apartments up here. It'll be a little tricky. I'm not going to lie. But, you know, these are like, these are like, we can treat these as the penthouse, <laughs> as the penthouses. Also, I figured out that uh, this is high enough to have snow on it. And that's a problem. I forgot about when building. I didn't know. Well, oh, Ooh, that looks nice. I didn't know that uh, it would be that high. Or I mean, it would be that low. That's well, how high are we up here? Come here. Let's see, up three. Only one thirty-two. Woo! <laughs> so in hindsight, I should have you know, built this out to be a, you know, like a, a floor plan. Well, I should have built this out to be a full floor plan, but I'm thinking something along the lines of this over here, right? So we can have living room here. Um, let's see. Hmm. I, I wanna, I, I could put that like that, but no, I wanna have access to this. I think we should have a separation right here. Uh, huh. Okay, so this is clearly going to be the bedroom as this has the better views. Now the question is, should I bother with uh, these? I don't know. I could always close this off completely. And then have a double door going into here. Uh -huh. Or, let's see, the pillar should be, yeah, right here. Hmm. This one is a little interesting. Does that look, does this work? Okay, you walk in. <laughs> you walk in. Okay, this is where it should be one, two, three. Pillars on the... Nope, pillars right here. Maybe this way? What about that? Uh, and then... See, I want the bed facing out here. And it kind of needs to be right here. Okay, I got an idea. We're going to encroach a little bit and have a wall right here. And then here we can have a doorway. <laughs> there we go. That looks nice. Well, okay. That's going to just going to fix that. 
I know I didn't fix it on the others, but that that right there is gonna annoy me. Uh, because you have to redefine, you know, the space that you're living in. So, let's see, if I come over here, should be fine to have, I think I should leave it like this. Okay, yeah, I think, I think that's good. Living room, kitchen, dining, and then some weird thing. <laughs> and bedroom and then you know we can put the beds or the bed right here perfect awesome well i guess i'm gonna go ahead and finish this all the way up rebuild the thing <laughs> and then we can go ahead and get decorating now of course if i wanted it more open i could do something that isn't you know, so, uh, what's the word? So like, uh, constricted, like I could do that. And then make it, it make it feel a little more open, but mm, I'm not sure. Cause you know, hmm. I guess kitchen could tech well stove and stuff could technically go here. But no, that would crowd that. Uh no, this would be this would be good for like a little table. Let's see, I'm thinking I'm thinking like kitchen. We don't we probably won't have an island. Uh let's see what's that? Okay, there's a single kitchen and then living room. I don't know. I mean, it's it's too scale. Um, but it's also going to be a little tricky. And also, I can't think too much of it. But I kind of like the way this looks. So I might, I might switch, I might switch out. Um, <clears throat> what I do with these? Hold on. Do glass panes? Ooh, I can do colored. Uh, let's do. Let's add some color, like purple. And then I guess functional okay we'll have to see where's the iron bars uh building let's see ah there you are okay so do iron bars and okay they connect do these and these connect no do these and these connect no hmm so what if I did, I'd have to do it here and then chain. Why'd I grab chain twice? And then, eh, eh. <laughs> I might as well just stick with chain, you know, something that can divide it. It's not too busy. I don't know. Jury's out on that one. All right. Let's begin with the decorations. Like, wait, which is this the top floor? I have no way of telling. Uh, oh, wait. Yes, I do. No, this is the second to top floor, which is weird. But, okay. Um, going to have this like that. Because then we have an oven. And then we can put storage. Where are you? Less storage. Hello. There you are. You can put storage up here. Like that. Add a little pizzazz. <laughs> uh, and then I guess I could put like, you know, a brewing stand here. Maybe like... Well, no. I don't need a hood. For... Uh, I oh, know, but that blocks out the light. I don't need a hood. Well, actually, eh. no. This is this is good. And then here, since it's a higher trim of apartments, I can find the smooth quartz. There you are. There you go. Make a little table right here. Uh, nothing too fancy. All right, and then boop. 
Boop. And then, do do, and then do do. There you go. Let me put a little cake. Yeah. <laughs> and then chairs, I can just do. Let's give them. Yeah, mangrove tenants. Good old mahogany. Um. Ignore the <laughs> ignore the. Uh, okay, that's a that's a crunch for space. Okay, well you know what? We can just have a bench here, and a bench here because who's gonna walk on this side? Uh, and then I don't know why I'm getting rid of this stuff. I'll need it. Oh, give me that. Okay, and then take you. And then I should use the stairs here. And then this should be. Ooh, it's getting a little crowded. <laughs> yep. And then, of course, gotta have the bed. We can do that later. I mean, I don't know. This looks decent, you know? I mean, it's perfect size for a Minecraft player. And then, let's see, bookshelves. Always gotta have my book. Up, oh, that's not bookshelves. Always gotta have my bookshelves. There you are. Question is, where do I put them? Probably right here. And then, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Put the beds in last. Sweet. So I'm just gonna copy this on all the others. Well, would you look at that? As far as oh, <laughs> I forgot to put the doors in there. Oh well. As far as uh, furnishings concerned we are done for the apartments i have to figure out what to do with um you know these floors and then obviously the bottom floor uh which shouldn't be an issue yeah <laughs> yeah it shouldn't be an issue i think i'll just do like little lounges up here you know maybe some like maybe like a tv or something um Maybe like a, a fridge or like a water cooler or something. Uh, ooh, maybe I could do like a little gym right here. That'd be cool. Um, and then this one can just be like a normal lounge because I don't know who who wants that. Let's see how the building looks from far away, fully furnished. I noticed that buildings look good in Minecraft when they're like fully furnished because you can see through glass pretty easily in here. And look at that. It doesn't make it doesn't make a huge difference, but you can definitely tell that not all the floors are empty, and you can tell which floors are empty. So let's go ahead and get to. Oh yeah, I forgot I changed all these. Let's go ahead and get to uh, work on those floors, and I have no idea what I'm gonna do for this bottom floor. <laughs> Yikes! I mean, let's see. In here, I have the furniture pretty sparse but i'll have to figure something out also where did my pots go okay they don't render in <laughs> anyway let's get to working on these two floors now if i'm gonna do yeah i want a gym on this one if i'm gonna do a gym i'm gonna need uh you see let's see black black is used a lot in gyms specifically i think this one would be good enough uh, we can make, let's see, a treadmill. All right. Okay. And then, what, can I just go like, oh, <laughs> oh, I mean, it's a big treadmill. Oh, I don't know. I mean, treadmills are big. You know, <laughs> um, I should be able to fit. Okay, I can fit two treadmills. There we go. Yeah, that's not too bad. You know, you start, you run. Oh, but I kind of, hmm. I don't know if I like that. Blocking your view. Uh, what if I use? No, that wouldn't look like a treadmill. No, this... Th I mean, these look like treadmills. Okay, you know what? Just for the aesthetic purpose. Oh, there's a treadmill. <laughs> there's a treadmill. I guess we could have, like, a bench. Uh, what? 
Uh, I was like, we could have like a, a bench, and then for this, I need functional uh, lightning rod. Okay. And then I need to be able to. Nope. Nope. Okay, I need to. <laughs> oh! I broke my. Um, <laughs> I mean, let's see, this kind of looks like a weight plate. Ah, okay. You know what? Trap door, trap door. Is there any trap door that looks like a weight plate? Uh, don't think so. It's in building. Mm. Let's see, what color are weight plates? Weight plates, I mean, well, then usually. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Mm. I don't like that the copper, you know, is floating, but I don't know. If it's, yeah, can't really do much. Uh, t -t 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 Wait, play, wait, play. Let's see. I guess we can. Oh, that kind of looks like a wait plate. The mangrove trap door. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Um. <laughs> Don't mind the, the floating thing. And I guess here we can just have like, I don't know, yoga mats. Yeah. Let's see, pute green is a popular yoga mat color. And blue. You can just do yoga with a view in the morning. I don't know. And then what can I do? Ooh. I could also make a like a a shelf. Uh Let's see, is that a shelf for, oh, nope, never mind. <laughs> a shelf for like, I don't know. What can we make look like a kettlebell? Uh, I mean, these kind of look like dumbbells, but you can't put them on the side. Does this float? <laughs> Yeah, that floats. Okay. Uh, <laughs> These kind of look like. Whoa. You know what? We'll do that. <laughs> All right. Now for this little lounge area. Don't need to do two by one. Yeah, don't need to do. Okay. Then I guess I'll have to... Let's see, how do you do this? Oh! Don't you put, like... No. No. I guess I gotta do that. Yeah. But then I can... Aha! There we go. Have a nice little TV like that. Uh, A little... Little lounge area right here. There we go. Add some greenery. This one doesn't have to be too, like this lounge doesn't have to be too comprehensive. Just needs some detail. You know what? Let's change it up. Let's put cherry blossom leaves on here. You know, we've had a lot of, oh, that's, <laughs> that's not what I wanted. Look at that. Yeah, just have a nice little lounge, you know, maybe a little coffee table right here. Maybe a little, uh, What's it called? Uh, where are my iron blocks? Hello? <laughs> there you are. Little iron uh, block fridge action. You know? Little coffee brewer. <laughs> Something like... Yeah. Hold on. Something like this. Look at that. And then... 
honestly, that's that's really all this little area needs. Maybe like a few chairs over here, you know, like a, a little reading corner. And something like that. And then like a, a chair or two, like right here. I know that doesn't really make sense, but eh. And then you could have just like an observation seat just right here. Oh, there we go. Yeah. You know, just something to look out. And then we got the, obviously the views out here. That's cool. I like that. All right, now for the lobby. Uh, I'm getting some ideas. Most uh, apartment, <laughs> most apartment buildings now will have uh, little like workspaces. So maybe we could do that. Let's see. I'm trying to, you know, preserve the lights. Oh, also, I'll need a mail room. Maybe I can just. Uh, I don't know. Uh, okay, so for the workspaces, let's just do this. Um, <laughs> okay, let's have workspaces on this side. And then, okay, yep. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll have to just do that. And then here, wait, this is only... <laughs> this is only a two. S okay. Well, I guess we could do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's fine. Yep. Little workspaces like this. Uh huh. And then oh, I wish I could have like tinted glass panes. Um, uh, but we can't. Oh. Duh. What I use in the office building. Where is it? Building blocks. Uh, andesite. This kind of gives that like gray cubicle look. And no, but I want it to look nice. Let's do black stained glass. Panes. There we go. Yeah. That'll look nice. We can have little workstations um i guess they could go all the way up there we go all right well yeah because then they won't obstruct the light i mean it'll look a little weird but Let's see we'll do that add a mail room now, should I do it all the way to the bottom? Eh, no. But should I do it like this? Ah. Uh-huh. You know, maybe I can just have this be... Yeah, these can be like little walls. And then the desk can be in here. All right, well, I'm going to do that. I'm going to add a mail room right around here. And then... I'm going to add the front desk, you know, right here, obviously. Uh, well, I can also add the front desk like over here and then have like a lounge area. So I don't know. We'll see. All right. So I've got this so far. Let me see if I can find a little painting. Just throw it right there. Yeah. Oh. I need uh, something by four by three. Oh. Oh, <laughs> too big. Uh, too bad one. No, no. Wait. One by two? Ah, let's do a one by one. What are you? Yeah, good enough. <laughs> and I finished off these little, you know, private offices, conference areas. And then here... I guess we can put like the lounge area and back here we can do the mail. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and just showcase you because we're getting pretty long on time here. And you know, here I could actually make a little, hold on. Give me this. Nope, that's what I have. Give me that. I can make a little um, coffee shop. You know, like a little coffee corner. Most places have that. And then I can... Um, nah, 
I can I can leave it like that. Uh, something like that, and then you know just have like I don't know, like a fridge back here, and then functional some brewing machines. Yeah, there you go. Like, well, no, not that. We can have like a a little stove. Oh, I can I can put that there. You know, like a little microwave drawer for heating things up. What a lodestone. Uh, a little microwave drawer for heating things up. And building blocks. The iron should be down here. Yep. And then there. And yeah. And then have a little fridge. Let's see. Okay. Let's do a double fridge since, you know, it's like a restaurant. Perfect. Nice. Yeah, just like a little, a little coffee thing and uh, uh, functional. There you are. Little coffee cups around here, like that. Maybe a little seat. Boom. Oh, it even looks like they have coffee in them. <laughs> well, that's cool. Okay, I'll put a seat right here, and then like do I don't know one or two little chairs and tables back here, or maybe one. I don't know. That's not. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, that seems fine. And then here can be the mail room. All right, look at that. Some nice little mailboxes. I used the chiseled bookshelf just because they look like those tiny mailboxes. And then here are just some like packages that are sitting out and about. Ooh, let's fill up this wall. Make sure you know, nothing looks too bad. Uh. Could use a big painting. Let's see, where's a big painting? Four by three. I make whoa, whoa, whoa. Too big. Two by two. No. I need something that's four by four. Ah, too big. Um. Two by one. No. Oh wait. Ah. I was gonna say I could do. Two two by ones. Oh, not what I wanted. But I could also do two one by twos. So put one there and one there. Good enough. All right, that should be it for everything down here. Going to go ahead and finish up this uh, out here. You know, have some, add some, you know, not grass. And then we can wrap it up. I think adding a little, a small little plaza right here would be cool. And nothing too crazy. And then we can wrap it up, get some B-roll, and that'll be the video. Well, would you look at that? I'm completely finished with this apartment building. Went ahead and added some more, uh, like a little turnaround, a little roundabout thing out front of the building so that, you know, I don't know, just add some greenery, some extra space. Uh, yeah, really proud with how this turned out. Um, I mean, I would give you a tour, but we all saw this. So the only thing left to do is get some B-roll and then wrap things up. Or I'll just wrap things up and get some B-roll. Um, I'll probably do that. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. This took me about three weeks to do with you know my nine to five schedule and my video schedule um just because of you know the building and the repetitiveness so uh it'd mean a lot if you guys left a like um if you liked it you know if you didn't like you don't have to leave a like <laughs> um leave a comment let me know what you think about the building what do you think i should build next uh what do you think about this creative approach as a series. I really need feedback uh, on this one just because, you know, we need we need to be like, I need to be able to make it so you guys enjoy it. I'm enjoying the creative side, but you know, stuff like that. And I, I need feedback, bottom line. <laughs> and remember, if you're new, please subscribe. I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with random videos in between. 
and videos like this occasionally on Sunday. I say occasionally because I have to, you know, build the buildings and record everything and edit it. So without further ado, I'm Beanin. Thank you for watching. Peace.